happy National Gremlins Day. Hi, I'm Twin Sanity, bringing you a little bit of that Funko Insanity. National Gremlins Day, April 28th. We're going to look at my Funko Pop Gremlins collection. Including the relatively new, never unboxed on video, Daffy. Buzzy, what do you think of Daffy? Who's your favorite Gremlin? What's your favorite movie? Okay, anyway. I think I have them all. This is nine. Well, there's a there's a Glow variant of the original. These are the originals. They came out in 2012. And then... I think Greta and the Flasher Gremlin came out next. And then... These two... Hot Topic, Gizmo, and Gizmo as a Gremlin. You can see it is a repaint of the original. That was a FYE exclusive. And then uh, last year these came out. Fuzzy. She never jumps up when uh, I invite her. What's up with you right now? Okay, you can kind of see how far they've come in their design. They used to be very plain, very smooth-headed out. And they really started going out with the detail and the sculpting. Okay, and then Daffy. Gremlins 2. The new batch. So Gremlins 1. I was looking this up. So Gremlins 1 was 1984. I was like, why is today, April 28th, National Gremlins Day? And I was thinking, well, we think of Gremlins as a Christmas movie, but maybe it actually came out in April. Well, I looked it up. It came out June 8th, 1984. So uh, still no lead on why April. What? Why? You got paint all over your eyes, man. Ugh. There's no quality control with Funko. It's baffling. Uh, but anyway, when did uh, Gremlins 2 come out? I should have looked that up, maybe 80. Do you know? She don't know. Uh, but then I was thinking, okay, well, maybe it has to do with the Disney Gremlins and Raw Doll from the 40s. Or maybe it, maybe National Gremlin Day even had to do with the car. Okay, so the AMC American Motor Company Gremlin, that came out April 1st. April Fool's Day, 1970s. It wasn't that, but uh, as far as I know, it doesn't have to do with the Roald Doll book either. Roald Doll, maybe I see. Listen, I have some figures of the Disney Gremlins from the 40s. Okay, because remember the whole idea of Gremlins. See, I was thinking, I was thinking like Gremlins had always been like little goblins and mischievous creatures from German lore, you know, back centuries. But no, they were, the concept was invented by British soldiers in World War II who took the German word for vex and they kind of created this concept of little, you know, you know, blaming on the gremlin kind of thing, little mischievous creatures that were messing up machinery, especially airplanes in uh, the efforts of World War II. And Roald Dahl was a pilot. So when he came back to uh, the UK, I guess, he popularized the idea. And he, he so a anyway, uh, Disney, he, you know, Disney, he made, I have, the point is, I have these little figures. Maybe we can look at them on his birthday or something in September. Yeah, the Disney Gremlins. Few people know about those, I guess. Hey, we could have looked at him on, like, National Noodle Day or something. Anyway, it's National Gremlin Day, and here are my Funko Pop Gremlins. Of course, they also did... I think they've done uh, Gizmo in the soda line. They haven't done Stripe or Spike or, you know, they haven't done a Gremlin Gremlin. Uh, okay, we got to hold up the new one. And then what else did I ever get back then? Of course, I got the Mystery Mini somewhere. Did I get the... What's it called? The... Uh, Pint size hero was it? I think it was only the gremlin. I hate when they don't do both versions. You know, it's that simple. And then Pez. Did I get the Funko Pez? I know I got the VYNL figure somewhere. 
Okay, but National Gremlin Day featured the new Daffy. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to... Buzzy, this is Daffy. Obviously, I want to encourage... <laughs> it's the Domino Funko effect. Such is life. That's what happens when you put them on your shelf. But Funko, I know you're watching right now, so uh, can we get some more? Can we get some more? Gremlins? Soon? I'm talking the spider gremlin, and I'm talking the bat gremlin, and I, of course, am talking the vegetable gremlin. You are in a race right now, whether you realize it or not, with NECA to be the first to produce a vegetable gremlin. Now, they, NECA has made back in the day, of course, I talk about it all the time, the spider gremlin and the bat gremlin. They need to re-release -re those, get those on target shelves ASAP. But my point is, hey, Funko, here's your opportunity. You'd be a prime, astute business Marketing venture, you know, you could have had it. You could have had it out today for National Gremlins. Could you please? Could you please just make your version of the freaking Spider Gremlin, Bat Gremlin, Cat Gremlin, Ow. and the Vegetable Gremlin? Buzzy, 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 Kitty Insanity, Gremlin Insanity. Hey, maybe I could rank these. <laughs> well, number one is Greta. All night and all day. Lovely Greta. Two, I might go. <clears throat> one. Two. Three. Four. <sighs> I'm going to do this one next. Five. Then I'll do the regular. Those are good. And then, you know, I'm team adult metamorph metamorphosized gremlin. For some reason, evil gremlin. For some reason, more than, you know, pet, pet mog wise. Buzzy, you little gremlin, aren't you? Why are you so frisky today? Must be something in the weather. She gone. Thumbs up. We gone. Goodbye.